of everyone again today. Another tragic day for our Harford County community. Um, to fill you a little bit about the uh, incident, and I'll qualify everything I'm about to say with it again. This is very early into this investigation, um, so some things are subject to change. Uh, we do think we have a pretty good handle on what occurred. A lot of details we're not going to be able to release at this time. Families are still being notified. But on today's date, uh, at about 11.18 a.m., our deputies were dispatched to the 300 block of Trimble Road for what was reported as an active shooter situation. Uh, what the actual caller said was that they saw an individual enter, uh, exit, enter an apartment building armed with a handgun and then heard multiple shots. Uh, deputies arrived on scene. Within two minutes, deputies had already arrived on scene and were at the door of the apartment involved. Um, and there were at least two people um, that they noted as being deceased at that time. Uh, in total, there are four individuals who have sustained gunshot wounds, three of which in total were confirmed at the scene. One individual, a male, was transported, um, however, has since succumbed to his injuries. Uh, this incident was isolated to the one building and to the one actual apartment, uh, and it does not appear that the suspect made forced entry into that apartment. Uh, we believe that he was let into the apartment. Uh, homicide detectives and crime scene investigators have now taken over the scene, and our detectives are conducting an extensive canvas of the area for evidence and any witnesses. Um, I'm going to have a contact at the end of this for detective um, if there's anyone out there who uh, is a witness or might have some knowledge about uh, how this incident occurred or why this incident occurred, we'd like to talk to them. Uh, the apartments were evacuated, and we have set up a reunification center at the Good Shepherd Church, which is at 622 Joppa Farm Road, so that people who were out and maybe returning home will not be allowed back into their apartment. Uh, they, they can go to the reunification center, and once detectives have completed their work there. It's going to be several hours. Um, we will get them back into their apartments. Uh, the investigation remains active, and as I said, active uh, notifications of next to kin are ongoing. Uh, so the names of those individuals, those four individuals who are deceased, uh, and further details related to the uh, shooting deaths are not going to be released at this time. We do not have a motive. That's part of the investigation. Uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to those families that are going to be impacted in these horrific losses. Um, again, another sad day, and I hate to stand before you and talk about another uh, tragic situation uh, and, and this much loss of life. Now, I do have to thank our community um, and Again, for the outstanding support of, of the men and women of the Sheriff's Office, our allied agencies, and our public safety partners um, for the support they give us, the calls, the tips, and such. So, again, I would reemphasize that if there are people who know uh, anything about this, and I know we, without releasing names and, and specific things like that, maybe it's hard, but as you hear those later, um, you can contact Detective Loman Thuma at 443-567-7201. Uh, as of now, we don't have any other media briefings planned. Uh, more will come out from our public information office in the near future. And I, I want to close on complimenting. Um, this is not the first multiple fatality shooting incident that uh, sadly that our county has seen. But once again, our public safety partners, our law enforcement partners, um, I can tell you from talking to our responding deputies, and again, they were here on the scene at the apartment door within two minutes. We had police officers from the town of Bel Air, from Haverty Grace, from Aberdeen, our municipal partners from the state police. Again, when, when the community needs the assistance, everyone is there. Um, Department of Emergency Services, uh, Director Rick Ayers is here with us to, right here. Um, uh, his, uh, his personnel and the fire service were on scene right behind the, the Sheriff's Office personnel uh, providing that vital, um, what was attempted to be life-saving uh, assistance. Uh, and sadly, you know, for the four individuals involved or the for the four individuals involved, uh, that was not successful. So with that, uh, I'm going to close out and I'll, I'll take any questions. And again, with the qualifier that there's some things I probably can't answer.